Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at 11th day of normal lead code challenge and the problem we are going to see today is minimum value to get positive step by step. So the input given here is an integer array with both positive and negative values and we have to return the minimum positive value as a start value such that the step by step sum is never less than 1. So let's understand this with an example. So here is a given example in the problem statement. So we have to return a minimum positive value to add with this array so that the step by step sum could never go less than zero. So let's start considering the value as one. So this is the minimum positive value. So if we start adding one by one numbers at each step, what would be the values? So when we start with minus three, the value would already be minus two. So this is obviously uh, less than 1. So in this case, at the first step itself, value 1 fails. So it's time to increment our value to 2. So let's start and again, at the first step, the value would be minus 1, which is also less than 1. So we have to increase our value to 3. So let's start, the value will be at the very first step 0 because we are adding with minus 3, which is also less than 1. So at this step as well, this value fails. So we have to increase our value to 4. So now adding 4 with minus 3 will give you 1. So which is actually not less than 1. So let's go and add the values ahead. So adding uh, with 2 will give you 3 at the next step. And then the next value is minus 3. So here it becomes 0 again. So in this case, the value fails again at this step and 4 is actually a minimum value. So in this case, let's increment to one more value which is 5. So adding 5 with each step will give you 2 and then adding 2 plus 2, 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. Then again, these two values are positive values. So it is going to be 5 and 7. So at no step, the value becomes less than 1. So 5 is the minimum positive value you can actually return as an output. So how are we going to approach this? So what I explained here is the brute force way to solve this problem. We are going to start with the minimum positive value and iterate till the max value it could possibly have and wherever we reach a stage to check uh, the complete array passed without having a value which is less than 1 at all the steps and that is the value we are going to return. So this is going to take m square m time where this is nothing but m is the maximum value. So the maximum value they said is each number could be maximum of 100. So considering the worst case, all the numbers are minus 100, then the minimum value we would need is length of the array into 100 would be the maximum value and plus 1 would be the minimum positive value we need to uh, written as our output. So considering this as our maximum value, iterating from 1 to max would actually cost you n square m time. So m is the maximum value and n square is nothing but we have to iterate the complete array to find the minimum sum every time for each m. So how do we solve this in a better way? So this brute force could also be considered as a binary search solution because we know the minimum value that is the lower bound and the maximum value which is the upper bound. So we fix a mid value and every time we check whether we could pass with this mid value calculated. So if we could pass then we shift our bound va bounder values to lower and upper bound. If not we keep our upper bound and lower bound as mid plus one to right value. So this is how we always solve a binary search problem. This would also work in this problem but this is again going to take you big O of n into log mn solution because we use a binary search but how do we solve this in a constant space and linear time so let's see how we're going to approach that the third approach is pretty straightforward and simple so the problem statement itself says we have to get a positive number which should not make the step by step sum not less than 1. So here the step by step sum is nothing but a prefix sum. So what are we going to do is we first going to calculate the prefix sum of the given array. So once we calculated the prefix sum, we are going to take the minimum out of all the prefix sums. So that is the minimum value or minimum deep 
the array can actually go. So that would be the value we have to compensate by putting a uh, positive start value. So plus one of that value would be our output. So let's understand this by doing it step by step. So let's start calculating the step by step sum. At the first step, minus three would be the step by step sum or prefix sum. The next value would be minus three plus two, which will be minus one. And calculating it the same way, it is minus four, and then minus four plus four is zero, and then two. So this is the prefix sum of this particular array. So we have to search for the lowest value at any step in the prefix sum calculator. So if you see, minus four is the lowest value out of all. So which actually means this is the least value or the deep value that the array could actually go. So we have to compensate this deep value with the corresponding positive value to satisfy, to not let it go less than one. So if minus four is the least value, then we have to need a plus four to make it zero. But the condition here is we should not make the array go less than one. So zero is also considered as less than one. So we have to have five, which is nothing but plus four plus one. So minus four to compensate minus four to get it more than one, we have to have a value five, which is nothing but four plus one. So this is the value we actually need to compensate it not to become less than one. So this is going to be the minimum positive value we needed to make this array sum not go less than one at each step. This is going to be our output. So we are simply going to iterate the array and calculate the prefix sum and that is going to take big o of n time and meanwhile we will get the minimum value at each step uh, by iterating this array itself and this is not uh, storing any extra space you can store the prefix sum in a separate array or you can make use of the existing array to calculate that so we can solve this in constant space so yes hope you're understanding this concept let us go to the code now so the code is also pretty simple we should have variables sum equal to zero which is nothing but which is going to calculate the prefix sum of the array at each step we are not going to use a uh, array for storing the value instead with a simple variable and minimum prefix sum is going to get the minimum value in the prefix sum calculated. So let's iterate the array. At each step we are going to calculate the sum and update our minimum prefix sum value with the least value or minimum value calculated. So yes, finally our minimum prefix sum will have the minimum prefix sum calculated. So we should have the positive side of this value plus one as a result. So we can do absolute of this value plus one or we can simply return one minus that value, which is also works same way as that of absolute plus one. So yes, let's run and try. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, the solution is accepted and runs in zero millisecond and 100% faster than other solutions. Though this problem is an easy category problem, a simple thinking process would make it even more efficient. So thanks for watching the video. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, hit like, subscribe and let me know in comments. Thank you.